With the Recovery Act funds, we uh, stepped up the number of employees out in the field doing work. I, my hat's off to the workforce in terms of getting uh, trained uh, in the field quickly to perform the, the cleanup work safely. And I hope um, that those folks that do have to depart because of the Recovery Act uh, funds uh, being spent, that they come uh, away from Hanford with some new skills, uh, some appreciation of what we're doing out there, and spread the word of Hanford that Hanford's getting cleaned up and I wish them the best in their future endeavors. Hanford was entrusted with nearly $2 billion in Recovery Act funding. The quantity and quality of the cleanup work that resulted from that funding is evident everywhere on the Hanford site. This progress is a testament to our Recovery Act workers who are some of the most dedicated and experienced in any industry. Thank you for doing this work with safety as your highest priority and for taking such tremendous pride in the work that you did in the tank farms. Your efforts helped move the Office of River Protection closer to making the treatment of tank waste a reality at Hanford. I'm U.S. Senator Patty Murray, and I just wanted to thank all of you, the workers at Hanford, for doing such an incredible job. When I secured the $6 billion for the cleanup recovery funds across the country, I knew how important it was, but your work has exceeded all of my expectations. You've reduced the footprint at Hanford by over 50% and done an amazing job. So I just personally want to thank you. You make me proud and you should be very proud of yourselves. Thank you. Hanford was provided with nearly $2 billion in Recovery Act funding. That's a sizable investment for any state or project in our nation and a testament to the critical work underway. Today the site looks very different than it did just two years ago. I appreciate your dedication, your commitment to safety, and your willingness to tackle the very difficult work at Hanford. And in doing this work, you delivered on your promise to significantly reduce the footprint of active cleanup on the Hanford site, to decommission and demolish facilities, and to upgrade aging infrastructure in the tank farms. Thank you for meeting your commitments to the citizens of Washington State and Americans nationwide. With communities and businesses relying on a clean Columbia River, I have made Hanford cleanup a top priority of mine ever since my days as ecology director. I value the positive impact you're making on Washington's economy, and thank you on behalf of all Washingtonians. I'm incredibly proud of each and every one of your contributions to this important cleanup project. Protecting the Columbia River, the viability of the region's economy, and eliminating the legacy of plutonium production at Hanford is critical to the future well-being of our state. Thank you for your service and dedication to our state and to our nation. Everything you've done, you've done with the same commitment to excellence, the same attention to safety, and understanding that a grateful nation is expecting great things of you, you have performed at every turn. On behalf of Secretary Chu and a grateful nation, on behalf of your children and neighbors and those who will go uh, in the years to come, I want to give you, from all of us, our most sincere thanks and our most sincere gratitude. Thank you and congratulations on a job well done.
the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, an economic stimulus package, the likes our country had not seen since President Roosevelt's New Deal in the 1930s. The Recovery Act infused billions of dollars into the American economy in an effort to jumpstart it by saving and creating millions of jobs through a combination of government investments in shovel-ready projects and infrastructure improvements and the development of new technologies. The Department of Energy's Office of Environmental Management received some $6 billion in Recovery Act funding, of which nearly $2 billion went directly to Hanford, funding that would be used to support projects that would dramatically reduce the site's active cleanup footprint and help prepare the site for future cleanup over an ambitious two and a half year period. The Department of Energy and its contractors ensured they were ready to put Recovery Act funding and people to work the very day it was received at Hanford. Projects were selected that would have the greatest impact in saving and creating jobs, upgrading or adding new equipment for treating contaminated waste and groundwater, while reducing the footprint of the active area of Hanford cleanup, as well as overall cleanup costs. DOE and its contractors mobilized instantly, securing some 300 existing jobs in support of new Recovery Act funded work, and attracting the interest of tens of thousands of applicants, hiring, training, and placing thousands of new workers across the site so they could be immediately productive equipped with the necessary security, utilities, communications, and information infrastructure, reducing a process that once took months to just a matter of days. From removing soil and debris and cleaning up waste sites, to demolishing buildings, treating groundwater, and developing new cleanup technologies, the Department of Energy, its contractors, their employees, and subcontracted small businesses came together and delivered unprecedented results. Reducing the site footprint by more than half, cleanup activities over the past two and a half years have resulted in a reduction of 290 square miles of active cleanup area across the Hanford Reach National Monument, clearing the way for preservation and conservation activities, and completion of the active cleanup of 60 square miles of the river corridor as well as several square miles near the center of the site, known as the Central Plateau. Perhaps the most visible of these cleanup activities was the demolition of hundreds of buildings and facilities so familiar as part of Hanford's landscape for decades. These activities included such massive and complex projects as the removal of equipment once used to make plutonium metal from the plutonium finishing plant, the demolition of stacks, buildings and support structures along the Columbia River and in the center of the site, and the removal of facilities and debris from hundreds of sites on the Hanford Reach National Monument. Other Recovery Act funded cleanup efforts have helped position Hanford for future waste treatment and disposal requirements and activities. Central to these efforts has been the expansion of the Environmental Restoration Disposal Facility, known as ERDF. With the construction of two new supercells, ERDF's capacity increased 50%, expanding its footprint to an area the size of 52 football fields, and making it possible for ERDF to accept over 16 million tons of Hanford cleanup waste for safe disposal. Load upon load of waste has been transported to ERDF from projects across the site, including waste sites located near the Columbia River. Recovery Act funding also accelerated the construction of two major groundwater treatment systems at Hanford. The first, near the Columbia River, close to the D-reactors, that is removing hexavalent chromium from groundwater. And the other, which will be the largest system for treating contaminated groundwater on the site. A system that is expected to treat an estimated 25 billion gallons of groundwater at a rate of 2,000 gallons a minute when it comes online later this year, five years earlier than originally planned. A system that will, for the first time, simultaneously remove nitrates and metals, along with radioactive and organic contaminants, 
and help return water to the aquifer at a level that will meet federal drinking water standards, while at the same time, slow the movement of contamination toward the river by pushing it back toward the central plateau. Because of Recovery Act funding, Hanford is also more prepared to deliver millions of gallons of waste stored in 177 large underground tanks to the world's largest treatment facility under construction in the center of the site. A major laboratory used to analyze samples of tank waste was revamped, streamlining workflow, and providing results faster and more affordably than ever before. Recovery Act dollars were also used to help modernize infrastructure surrounding these underground tanks, including important upgrades to operating facilities needed for the long-term mission of retrieving waste and design innovative technologies, such as the Mobile Arm Retrieval System, or MARS, to speed waste retrieval to prevent rainwater from driving contaminants already in the soil deeper to groundwater. Recovery Act funding was used to place a surface barrier over the tanks. Pipes needed to safely transfer wastes during retrieval, blending, and delivery operations were rebuilt. And state-of-the-art mixing and blending systems were designed in preparation for waste feed delivery as part of the long-term mission to turn the waste into glass when the waste treatment plant begins operations in 2019. As a result of the Recovery Act, approximately 4,000 jobs were created at Hanford, a number that includes subcontractor jobs that also played a critical role in Hanford's Recovery Act success. While estimates on the total number of lives touched, defined by the government as any job at least partially funded by Recovery Act dollars, reached as high as 12,000. The impact on our local economy is likely immeasurable. These accomplishments, and many, many more, are the result of a focused and dedicated workforce. A workforce that understood the Recovery Act mission at Hanford and made a positive impact on both cleanup and its cost. A workforce that helped reduce Hanford's active cleanup footprint by more than half delivering some $3.6 billion worth of work for a $2 billion investment, accomplishing all this in a short 30-month window, on time, within budget, and most importantly, doing it safely. Most Recovery Act jobs at Hanford will be ending with the completion of projects this fall, but the training and new skills that many of our ARA-funded workers received will live on providing a solid foundation for new career opportunities. Hanford has a proud history of dedicated teams of professionals coming together in support of a nation's critical needs. Each time challenges faced have seemed to far outweigh available solutions, Hanford's workforce has found answers and responded. The Recovery Act is the latest chapter in Hanford's amazing history one that will also be remembered for its remarkable achievements and the people who made them possible, once again, helping move the Hanford mission forward.